As I type this, the clock hands are creeping towards 2.30 a.m., and my baby daughter is slumbering beside me having had her first feed of the night. There will, unquestionably, be more. I am on hand, 24 sevenths to meet her dietary needs, an always open milk bar with only one thing on the menu and only one employee serving the drinks. There is very little customer feedback, though occasionally I am rewarded with a loud and strangely satisfying burp. UK attitudes to breastfeeding must change, say. Experts read more in my bleary-eyed state, I read that pediatricians, MPs, midwives and other experts are calling for the multiple barriers to breastfeeding that exist in Britain to be broken down, and for steps to be taken so that the practice can be considered a normal, natural part of everyday life. It's hard to disagree. The UK has one of the lowest breastfeeding rates in the world, a shameful statistic that speaks volumes about the incoherence of our approach to child rearing. Despite the well-documented benefits of breastfeeding, only 43% of mothers in Britain will still be doing it by the time their babies are 6 to 8 weeks old. Only 1% of babies are exclusively breastfed to 6 months, as the World Health Organization recommends. It's clear that as a country, we have a problem, but how to fix it? In a letter to The Guardian on Tuesday, 18, experts called for better education in schools, more practical support from healthcare services, and for the government to ensure that women aren't put off breastfeeding by workplace constraints. I would add one more strategy, don't baby mothers to be, be honest with them about how to breastfeeding can be. During my pregnancy I, like thousands of other well-intentioned pregnant women, assiduously attended National Childbirth Trust, NCT, classes, merrily bought an electric breast pump, even watched a video on how to get your baby to latch on perfectly with no fuss.